tell the people in the legislature don't mess with a woman that has 17 grandchildren. Because <laughs> I've seen most everything. Well, welcome, and I hope you had a wonderful time at the reception. And beautiful part of a reception is getting to see old friends, making new friends. And I've got two new places I can go to visit in the next couple of weeks. Of good connections I've, I've made today and see different things. So I hope you had a good time at the reception as I did. So we have the pleasure now of presenting awards. And as you know, anybody that helps to make our society more beautiful, more informative, and preserve our culture is a winner. So you're all winners, because you wouldn't be here tonight if you didn't love the things that we're working so hard to preserve. So our first award is the Board Legacy Award. The Board Legacy Award is presented by Joe's Board of Directors as an individual organization which has demonstrated outstanding long-term commitment to preserving and sharing the history of King County and which serves as an inspiration to others. This year's Akko, I'm sorry, Akko Award is, we are pleased to present the Legacy Award to the Honorable Cecile Hansen, Chairperson of the Duwamish Tribe. I'd like to invite Cecile to join us here on stage. Cecile began working to assert the Duwamish Tribal Council's fishing rights as guaranteed in the 1855 Point Elliott Treaty. She was elected chair of the Duwamish Tribe in 1975, leading the effort to establish the first Duwamish Tribal Headquarters and raising the public profile of her people. In the late 1980s, she served as protocol officer for the Burke Museum and was a liaison to many Northwest tribes as the Burke developed its 1991 exhibit, A Time of Gathering. She has testified before the U.S. Senate Committee on Indian Affairs to attain official federal recognition for the Duwamish. In 2001, recognition was approved, only to be overturned later. Cecile redoubled her efforts with the modern, we are still here. The Duwamish went on to raise funds to build the Duwamish Longhouse and Cultural Center, which opened in 2009. Honorable Chair Cecile Hansen is a tribal elder, proud mother of five daughters, 17 grandchildren. <laughs> um, and many great grandchildren. I'm not admitting to anything on that yet. She still maintains hope that the U.S. Congress will recognize that Chief Seattle's own people are still, indeed, still here. On behalf of the ACTO Board and membership, congratulations, Cecile. Extremely honored to accept this on behalf of the Duwamish tribe, the indigenous people of Seattle. And I have um, hung in there because it's right to defend the indigenous people of Seattle. And I am happy to be here. But I'm getting older, and I'm hoping <laughs> my daughter said, No, say some nice things. I'm trying to do that. <laughs> but I am honored to represent this tribe because of my brother. He's the one that got me involved. I was just minding my own business. But I'm, but I'm here because of all Duwamish people. We're here, we are still here. And we gave up, and I have to tell you, we gave up 54,000 acres, which is Seattle. And then I'm I always tell everybody, if we get recognized, I'm not kicking anybody out. <laughs> but I would like a better record, uh, reservation. Anyway. I am so honored to accept this on behalf of the Duwamish tribe. Thank you. 